what resources or tools do you recommend for businesses that want to improve their energy efficiency or um, and reduce their energy cost? Okay, so as I mentioned, let's start with top management. How do you get top management and goal engaged? So um, there's been a very successful program here in Australia um, for engaging with businesses. Uh, so I'm not talking about I'm talking about larger businesses here. Um, yeah. Where where you do what's called a gap analysis of their energy management maturity. So basically, that exercise involves um, having a consultant come in and sit down with senior management. And, and, and you know perhaps other people interested in sustainability um, and you kind of go through a series of questions uh, which evaluate their attitude and approach to energy and what they've already done and at the end you come up with a scorecard and this particular scorecard kind of starts with un unengaged zero engaged mm. and so on up to world leading number five um, and so that exercise, which takes a couple of hours, you know, kind of in a boardroom or a meeting room, uh, has actually been proven to be very effective in businesses realizing that actually there is a good opportunity here and we're not we're not capturing it. Yeah? There's also a tool available uh, by UNIDO. UNIDO is the United Nations Industrial Development Organization. They have a simpler gap analysis tool, which I think, think, think just has 10 questions. But by Kind of having a, 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 you know, engaging with top management around use of that tool can often get top management more interested in, in managing their energies because that's really critical and, and being willing to commit time and money to do so. Then once you've done that, a lot of businesses just don't know, as I mentioned earlier, don't know how much energy they're using. They don't know their carbon footprint. So if you can start managing, measuring their energy use, um, translate that into a carbon footprint, um, you know, tabulating their energy costs, Getting it on a performance basis, so it's versus some metric. So yeah. even if the business expands, um, they can track where they're going. There's a, a large tracking company in Australia called Linfox, which way back in 2006 or seven, mm. so that's 15 years, over 15 years ago now, started getting serious about its carbon footprint. And um and an important part of that was really monitoring and measuring and tracking their carbon footprint. So they choose to chose to track their carbon footprint per kilometer, per truck kilometer. So it was the, the ton, well, the kilograms of greenhouse gas per truck kilometer. By 2015, they had cut their carbon footprint per truck kilometer by, by something like 48%. Wow. Now that's in, how does a tracking company do that? Yeah. Yeah. So this just goes to show you that. When and, and you know this is great. They've got really serious top management commitment. They invested resources into tracking it and, and, and taking action. And you know they definitely in, incorporated into their purchasing policy for the trucks they've purchased. Um, they did driver training, a whole lot of staff engagement around behaviour change, for, and they got really really good results. So, um, but part of what they did was measuring it, and then they tracked it, and then they reported it. And you know. It looks great also if they can say, look how much we look, 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 look what we achieved. It looks great in terms of your relationship with your, your stakeholders and your customers. Yeah. The third bit of advice is going back to what I said earlier, recognize that there is an energy efficiency profession out there. Yeah. And mm -hmm. um, be prepared to, to support your staff to get training if you want to do it yourself, or, or, or invest in consultants who know or contract people who know what they're doing and tap into their expertise. But there is a profession out there and, and um, you should try and seek people who have some sort of qualification, I feel, if you're going to get better results. Um, yeah. Then you need to spend money. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, sorry. of course. <laughs> you, you, are, you may have to do some upgrades. Now, often the best time, and this again comes really linked to your purchasing policy, is often when large items of plan and equipment are at the end of their life, and due for replacement, that is an excellent time to really look strongly at the options available to you to replace that with equipment that is not just a little bit more efficient, but a heap more efficient. And yeah. often you may even redesign the whole system and process to get that very high savings. So, for example, I've worked with schools and their heating systems yeah, and achieved savings of 60% on heating when, when, by replacing end-of-life equipment with a much better way. So that's a huge saving, 60%. Yeah. Yeah, so so it's, 
it, it's recognizing that opportunity, but gee, you've got to spend a lot of money to get that saving. But but um, but you do get a good, um, you know, in the long term, it provides you a very good return investment. Mm -hmm. And finally, yeah. depending on which country you're in, there may be some grants available you can access. Now, my advice, um, having done lots of energy audits with grant funding and then seen customers not do anything just because they thought it was easy and all we needed to do is get an energy audit done and, and somehow magically getting a report would save them energy. Um, yeah, if you can get funding, but I would strongly urge you put everything in place before you get that grant funding because otherwise the grant funding may just not be effective for you. Mm -hmm. Organisations yeah. that are good at this, they, they, they have a strong top commitment and they put time and money in and they, they, they do it. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more valuable insights on energy efficiency. Bye.